Do you think there are too many bikes in Amsterdam? Do I think there are too many bikes in Amsterdam? I think there are a lot of bikes in Amsterdam. Okay, the New York Times article about too many bikes in Amsterdam. Um, where do you start? Uh, it's one in a line of many where the Beltway is trying to um, put together this uh, message saying that you don't want to aspire to be like Amsterdam or bikes are not necessarily a good thing for people to go around on. There was a New York Times article saying Amsterdam is uh, swamped by a sea of cyclists. Uh, your same newspaper has been writing these same articles for almost 100 years. 1930s, there are New York Times articles about the, the bikes of Amsterdam, 1950s. It's, it's nothing new. Look in your own archives. I don't think there's too many bikes. Uh, it's a challenge to provide for all the bikes, but it's way easier to provide for the bikes than to provide for cars. Specifically, this article was about uh, framing it in a way that, you know, it's just a, a failed experiment and we're now dealing with the mayhem. There'll never be too many bikes in Amsterdam, there'll never be too many bikes anywhere. There are too many cars in Amsterdam, there are too many scooters in Amsterdam, that's for sure. The mayor of Amsterdam in the late 1950s said, in 30 years time, no one's gonna be riding a bike in Amsterdam. Um, you know, the car is the future. The businessmen, political parties were all for it. The uh, communists and labor and socialist parties, they were all for it. So the cars completely overwhelmed the city in the 1960s. You know, where we're standing, there were cars parked absolutely everywhere. You barely see a parked car from where I'm standing right now at all. And yet the, all these sidewalks would have been filled with cars. The intersection was filled with cars. And uh, that was a madhouse. That was chaos. The main problem is uh, bike parking. Where do you leave your bike when you are not using it? If you would turn maybe 10% of all the car parking places into bike parking places, the problem would completely be solved. There are too many junk bikes um, in Amsterdam and every other Dutch city, and that's a societal problem. People buy junk, and it costs too much to maintain things, so then their bike gets a, a broken wheel, a flat tire, they go to the bike shop, it costs too much to repair it, they park the bike, it gets abandoned eventually, and then the city has to clear the bikes out periodically. That's it. Sometimes during rush hour, it gets a little intense out there. Uh, I mean, you're so close to the other person, that you're even bumping elbows. But it's all in good jest. I mean, people will still say sorry or, you know, excuse me. But for the most part, people want to get where they want to go really fast. And that's why they're bicycling. The fashion section of New York Times loves the bikes in Amsterdam, sometimes in a ridiculous way. But when it's about New York City, bike New York City, and city bike, don't trust anything they say relating to what's happening here or in other cycle cities because it's overblown, taken out of context, well, there's news. It is a challenge here. The success is a challenge, but it's not a problem. So we're already talking about taking it to the next level where we're going to make parts of the city car-free from Central Station all the way downtown, car-free. In front of Central Station, it's going to look like it's 1867, okay? We see what's important for this city to be economically viable, you know, uh, accessible for all and making it a livable city.